Welcome back to The Existential Way. My name is Kevin Meredith, and today we're talking about the domino effect. This is very important. I have briefly spoken on this in, in previous and throughout previous podcasts, but I want to define the duality of the false nature of a single understanding. Um, the idea goes like this. You know, most chosen TIs, we understand this dimension because of another dimension. And we discover or we understand another dimension because of this dimension. Kind of like the idea of you can't have one without the other. Um, you know, you need to have darkness in order for light to prevail. Um, this is the process of aiming towards oneness and your relationship in the Lord. Is You know, we've talked about the domino effect. If we look at one piece, if we just look at, for example, say we, we look at one perp out there. But we have nothing to compare that perp to unless we've been in this game long enough. You know, most of us chosen TIs have been in this game long enough to where we've connected the dots up to a certain point. So we're seeing that certain pieces to this chessboard show familiarity. They We recognize them um, based on the outward expression of their behaviors, their appearances, their... Uh, you know, and, 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 and every way that you, even in your experience, it might be different than mine. You decode the linear, at, the linear behaviors and the linear actions to your gang stalking experience. You may, you may experience different than I do, you know, and vice versa. But this is the point is, this is how, this is how truth is, is. We understand truth because there is an anti, there's an antithetical to it. And we understand, you know, the spiritual enemy at hand because of um, the spiritual nature that we were born with, that, or, you know, and or the eternal, you know, existence that we were chosen to, as, as chosen TIs. So, this is, the, this is the supportive nature of the domino effect. And, and when you see, when you're able to connect the dots in this manner, man, um, this manner and, and you're able to see The, the inverse of the pyramid scheme in action with all of its pieces. This is the way in which we begin to connect dots. We, we begin to perceive um, the existence of, of gang stalking in our lives. So domino effect is, you know, you're led to one piece, but you have to make, you have to hypothesize you have to, uh, about that piece. What is what is the difference of that piece of that's in front of you, and how how is it different than you, and and how is it, um, you know, and this is we can't just judge one piece for what it is. That's not really what we can do when we're at trying to ascertain, um, you know, this unseen truth, you know, that we're experiencing, you know, as TI. So as you connect the dots, you're seeing the familiarity of these pieces. And it really isn't, it's not always an exact science, but it definitely is intuitive. It requires an intuitive and spiritual connection with yourself and with God to see the program and the matrix at work, to employ that bigger picture to each of the domino, you know, each of the dominoes that are before you. And then you begin seeing uh, one piece really lead to the to the next two pieces, and the next two pieces leading you to the next three pieces, and the whole thing leading into the you know the inverse nature of it, the whole heart of of how calculated and how big this thing really is in targeting, getting into the foundation, and you get de you get deep enough, and then we get to a shift where this is why we're able to understand this dimension and the duality between this dimension 
and the one we're perceiving it from, the eternal stream, the eternal understanding. And you get deep, in, deep enough into this pyramid scheme and you're seeing the whole thing for what it is. And it's not, remember, it's not based on one individual piece. That's what they want you to believe. They want you to believe, oh, it's just that person doing it. It's not all of us doing it. When, it, it, when the whole structure, the whole Babylonian context, the whole draconian system is set up this way as an illusion, yet just as much as it's made an illusion, it's just as real as something tangible, something you can touch. That's how real it is. Um, and that's why I talk about the single-mindedness and the false nature of, of the single-mindedness of the chess piece, of the domino piece, of the person, of the perp or the gang stalker playing the game. These type of pieces, the single-minded false nature is needed for this piece to have a, to have a, a part in the game. If, if this piece can perceive the duality of, uh, of here and there at the same time, or, or third, third, uh, you know, this third dimension um, and or the eternal dimension, then they wouldn't be a part of this game. They wouldn't be one of the pieces on the board, you know? They wouldn't be one of the pieces in the Truman Show. They wouldn't be allowed to be. And so this is why you have shunning, you have um, isolation, because... Every once in a while, God will choose a piece out of that. He says, you know what? That piece right there, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make him or her get it. I'm going to choose that piece out of this game, this, this dimension, this matrix. And so we have this. We have this idea of connecting the dots. This is depth perception. You're taking your perception from an eternal state you're, you're reaching into this third dimension. That's depth perception. You're seeing beyond because it's very intuitive, yet it's very divinely and spiritually connected. You, you have to be given this. This is, a, this is a privilege. This is an honor. This is a calling. This is a sanctification to be able to do this. And so, it's not about the individual per. It's about the program at hand and your ability to affect it. And your ability to recognize it for what it is, that's why they're so afraid of you. Is once once you can once you're able to recognize it, half the battle has been you know, everything they fought for, half of it has been um, taken off the board. Because now you see what they're doing. You see the program of the Matrix going on around you. And your eternal existence factor has told you that you're no longer a piece to this game. You are now a living soul. But it, it definitely does go further than that. Now, you get to a point where not only are you moving forward, but, but in looking back, and, and it's not really looking back, it's rec recollecting your thoughts and and the events that have led up to the depth perception of existing in the in the eternal qualification and the process thereof these events aren't by accident they were chosen for you to see you know and it doesn't it doesn't necessarily i'm going to say and it most likely does not come from the antithetical. Why would the antithetical want you to see it for what it is? That would be like when they tried to say Jesus, he, he commands devils out because he's one of them. Or he, he, were, he has the power thereof, of Beelzebub or whatnot. But like Jesus says, if he were doing that, the kingdom of Satan would have been divided. So we see that something miraculous, you know, uh, something universal of the divine creator has, you know, instilled a default mechanism into our existence. Even if we were pre, even in the time of preconditioning up to this point of 
of spiritual crisis and leap of faith, you know. There was something of a default saying, this genetic, you know, expression is not going to go as far as, as this game is trying to um, keep from this person. And something happens to the person, and God, you know, miraculously gives this person eyes to see and ears to hear. And you make these connections. You recollect the, the, your life events up to the point, but you're also making these connections up to a certain point in time. And you see what's going on. You, you look at the patterns before your eyes. You see who's involved. You look at the behaviors, you know. And you begin knocking down, you know, dominoes. And the effect, it, it begins growing. You, you, that depth perception, your understanding grows deeper. You're in, two, you're in two dimensions at once. But the dimension that you're working for is the eternal one now. You've been chosen out. You've been sanctified. And it's giving you that front row uh, premier, that frontline battle, um, that this dimension doesn't want you to be a part of, doesn't want you to have. It now and now it knows it has lost ground in controlling you for its purposes. It no longer can do that. So half of that battle has been won. To be sanctified, how great is it to be sanctified in this life? away from the world. Half the battle there has just been totally, uh, t the world has been turned upside down due to your existence now. That's how amazing God is in choosing out His own. And now He gives you eyes to see and ears to hear. You're, you're now recalibrating um, everything that you thought you were and the whole way in which you, you used to live and you used to exist. Now, it's no longer a means to an end. But eternal constancy is now an ends to a means. You're removing that end goal of, of, of material, acquiring material. And you're now focused on being present and seeking out the sobriety, the sobriety of, of, of present awareness of who the person of, of Jesus Christ is, you know, as your firm foundation, as the filter for your future you know, experiences of, of choice and, and experiences that you're seeking to build your personal truths on to show how unique God is, you know, in your life. That's the whole purpose is, is God is identifying his uniqueness in and through you by instilling, you know, his witness of the Holy Spirit in your life, but also working the kingdom through you, presenting the kingdom, making... You a living vessel in a dead fallen world. Wow, their battle is their battle is won, at least on you know, their battle is lost. The world's battle is lost to do your part that, that now you're playing for God. From an you're you're playing on the winning team now. The eternal stream of, of no beginning and no end. Now you see each you, you can't judge each piece because each piece is a single minded uh, uh, false self, empty vessel which only knows its position. It doesn't know, it, it's never, it's not of the light. It will never be from the light. It will never go to the light. It wasn't created from that manner, that source. It was created from a fallen source, a.k.a. Satan. So these perps are not going to know their single-minded false nature. When, it, when someone only lives by half the side of the coin, that half of the side of the coin is their is their total reality. They don't they couldn't anything beyond that they're going to find offense in and they're going to want to persecute. While for the TIs, now we have a greater understanding. Now we grow in patience. Now we endure because we 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 are in we are understanding both sides of the coin, but we are representing that eternal stream. We are identifying with it and our depth. Uh, our depth perception begins on the winning team in that eternal stream, that eternal dimension, and it is perceived into the third dimension. And so you're you're more clearly able to to recollect the patterns which have been preset before you to make the connection up to this point of the situation uh, you're in and the and the and the power you have thereof. 
because the matrix is linear, it only functions in a debased, low frequency, false vibration, low vibration standard in which movements only operate according to the that which you know the game of the matrix is set up for the the game of the matrix does not come from the divine creator it comes from a fallen state and requires uh corrupt vessels to play part and you'll see that you re recollect as you're moving forward you're also recollecting these patterns and these insights that determine your uniqueness as a chosen TI, always. And that's why the present, having your conscious, is, is, is having your soul. And if you have your soul, you have eternal life. You know, go to my previous video on, you know, let's see, I don't know if I still have that video up, but go to it if I still have it talking about you know, your practices as compared to your calling and how you should remain eternal, you know. So this is, this is what it is. You not, you understand one domino, one piece of the game by finding the similarity and connecting it to the next piece in that, in that board. And it basically comes down to being a pyramid and a pyramid scheme. There's, that's how it is. You find you find out about one piece, it's going to lead you to the next, and you're finding the, the you know the commonalities, the similarities, and the connections, and how they've uh, how this program has has perf perfected its intricacy in, in in harboring obstacles in your life to get and then God miraculously sanctifies you away and makes you makes it apparent to you before your eyes in full understanding um, to what's been going on. But it's almost, it's not, and like I said, it's not something that can be explained nor should be approved of by the world because um, we're new creations now. Our understanding is only, it, the, the, the determining factor of our understanding, it, it only needs justification by our, our Lord and Savior and God, you know. That's it. We we fear we don't fear men. We fear not one man anymore. They actually fear us because of that which is in us, the Holy Spirit and the kingdom at hand. So, you know, it leads us here. Find out. You'll and you'll ultimately as a chosen child, you're going to find out that you just because you became aware at one time and just because you're you're going through this new experience, it doesn't mean that you haven't been targeted all along. It only means that. You've been you've been aware of it for a matter of time, but it's it's most likely occurred when you were born, and, and small steps along the way is what the matrix has been concluding for your life here. Um, there's a time when you come into full fruition of your spiritual capacity in the Lord that the matrix will then forcefully try to force itself onto your life to divert your attention and